Hello dear traders, I'm Annika Sadkina, back on Insta TV News channel with another portion of the latest financial news. After a short break, crude oil price resumed its decline again, leaving oil producers stunned with a question when will this end. Morgan Stanley seems to be the main culprit for the new wave of sell-offs after it slashed its 2015 base case forecast for Brent to $70 and to $43 in the second quarter. Previously, other banks also lowered their outlooks, but no one announced such a low price. Вполне вероятно, после преодоления ключевого уровня в 65 долларов за одну бочку, бренд может спустить. It is quite probable that Brent will fall to new local and very important level of $60 a barrel after breaking the key level of $65 a barrel. At the same time, consolidation at the current level above $65 a barrel could result in a bounce to the upside, so that we could see the local level of 67.55, which is also likely to be short-term. Котировок на сырую нефть марки Brent, и тогда мы можем увидеть уровень, локальный уровень и вполне вероятно краткосрочный уровень 67.55. It is very difficult to forecast what the situation exactly will be like. Long-term outlooks vary in the range of $60 to $90 a barrel. The rebound to the level of $100 is out of question. It is pretty likely that oil exporters will have to put up with new reality. In Russia, oil exporting companies have found the way out. They try to compensate at least part of the lost revenue by virtue of the domestic market. They boost prices for domestic customers, which primarily hits the pocket of car owners. However, not only gasoline prices are rising in Russia. Weakening ruble and falling oil prices led to a sharp rise in inflation. Analysts do not exclude that in the next six, seven months, the rate of increase in goods and services prices would reach double digits. Not only the Russian ruble is falling, but also other commodity currencies. The Canadian dollar and Australian dollar are traded at multi-year lows. Sooner or later, the oil panic would wear thin and correction would take place. But judging by the latest forecasts and trends, the recovery is likely to be relatively modest. This was the latest financial news for today. See you tomorrow. Bye.